Okay guys, it's me and my wee assistant here. Right, I'll get straight to it. Um, I spoke about, uh, I wanted to talk to you about the difference between the helmets we've been make, making for Millie for the past two and a half, three years, and the ones that are now appearing online as pet helmets. Now, there's a lot of shops now trying to sell these as pet helmets, and in my opinion, it's a death sentence for your animal. Now, the shop I'm referring to is one called Tony Gears Official on Instagram. They actually had the audacity to make a video, or use two of our videos that have went viral, put them together to, basically, to fool you into clicking the link, to mislead you into clicking the link in their shop. Uh, thinking you're getting Millie's helmets and it's taking you to these. Although he does tell you on the site the sizes of these, we are in no way connected with them or anyone else who uses our videos. There, no one makes ours at all. Now, I know they've now since removed the ad, but it's just goddamn annoying. Now, the thing that's really getting to me is people are asking up to $60 for these things. Now, they're a great ornament, and that's basically all they are. They're well made, fantastic, padding, cracking wee chin strap, uh, well lagged inside, visor comes up and down. But look at the size of it, online you actually see one of the pictures is a mouse inside it, and that's pretty much all it will fit. Now I'm going to tell you why I think they're a death trap. We've combated, I've made so many of these for Millie, we've combated any issues we've ever had with them and she wears them every day so I think we're kind of in a good position to give her advice on it. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the market for dogs. There's no safety equipment whatsoever. So, until there is, we can only do what we do. Now, inside ours, as you can see, now this is a really small helmet. We have padding at the ears and padding for the head. There's nothing else insulated simply because it would overheat. If she was to wear that over her head with a visor down, she would overheat. Now, what we have is it cut out of the back, which is a must for her to be able to move her head so she can actually look around while wearing it. Ventilation, there's plenty getting in underneath. There's air vents here. It's well ventilated, uh, which is the most important thing. Now, we all need air. <laughs> now, everything works with this. Uh, there's there's nothing I could do to kind of upgrade this anymore, other than maybe a clear visor, uh, until a company comes along and kind of does, does them better, I suppose. But anyway, my problem with this is they're just toys. They're not for pets. Now, as I said, cracking, they're well made, but look at the size of that. There's no way with all that insulation around it, you're going to squeeze a cat's head. Well, you are, because I've seen pictures online. But if you squeeze a cat's head into that, and if you attempt to take it in a motorbike and close it, now, if you've got the head going in there, there is no ventilation. You're going to, that cat, or small dog, if possible, is going to suffocate, in my opinion. There is nothing... No ventilation anywhere, there's no air to get in, there's no air to get out. With the very limited space underneath, I'm guessing that's going to be taken up with her neck and fur. It's not practical. They'll not be able to look around, there's no shape to the back yet. There's nothing to stop, there's no felt underneath to stop it lifting. And there's nothing over the nose piece that will stop it from sliding down. So there's nothing practical about this. You'll see pictures of it, the cat's head squeezed into it. I've yet to see somebody ride with it. If they do, I'd love to know if their animal survives after even a couple of minutes. I can't see anything about this which would be comfortable for an animal. Uh, and basically, it's, uh, I'm just going to keep it alive. As I say, there's the bottom of ours. That's the bottom of that. There's absolutely no space. Is there? Yeah. Now, if I put my legs on, now, I can put my fingers right up in 
<laughs> I lost you right all one mate. <laughs> I can get my fingers round the back, up the sides. Plenty of ventilation getting through. Plus there's two vents here for when the visor's closed. There's still two vents getting through. Plenty of space for the air to get in and out. If I was to attempt to put that on, which, no chance. I wouldn't even do that to you. It wouldn't fit. Look at the size. It's never going to fit. And although they're great wee pieces of, well, great toys I suppose, great to have in your garage shelf or in your room as an ornament, but they're definitely not practical for a pet. Now some of these stores, as I say, they're asking $60 for these. Some are $30. AliExpress is the cheapest, I think, which I do think they're great if you want to buy it for your shelf, but... Please don't buy them for your pet. We have, I've come across so much criticism for Millie wearing the helmet at all. Uh, but it does its job. It keeps the ears from flapping around. Stops any wind getting in her face. Protects her face from stone chips. And she's worn them every day for years. So it's, it's there's nothing to it. She's, she's it's taken for granted now. It just goes on and away we go. Now, yeah, you're going to have problems with this. So, yeah. Don't buy them for your pets if you intend to ride with them unless you're going to do some serious adaptations to it. Mm. Yep, hope that comes across okay for you guys. Now, if you want to hear more of my reviews and watch more of my videos, please subscribe on Motorbike Millie on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. And yeah, that's us. Until our next video. Thanks, guys.